Hello, this is the Slow Food Survivalist. In the following video, I will give you some warnings about the dangers of exposing your water filter to temperatures below freezing. Modern water filters, such as Sawyer, Live Straw, and many others, relying on hollow fiber technology, are absolutely wonderful survival tools. However, they can be fully trusted only if they have never been exposed to freezing temperatures after the initial wetting. Extremely cold weather may kill you. That piece of general knowledge was utilized in these propaganda leaflets during the winter war between Finland and the Soviet Union. The title of this demoralizing leaflet was simply White Death. And underneath the picture of a frozen Soviet soldier, there is a text telling the enemy that even if you manage to avoid our bullets, there is no way to escape the horrifying cold. In addition to being able to directly kill you, the frost can do all kinds of damage. Freezing water expands, and it cracks surfaces of the roads, bursts water pipes, and grinds boulders to gravel. Knowing that, it is not too difficult to imagine what happens to the wet hollow fibers of a water filter when exposed to the sub-zero temperature. The only surprising thing is how quickly the damage happens. To demonstrate this, I placed a glass jar filled with water outdoors at minus 12 degrees centigrade. After a couple of hours, the water began to freeze, and after about 8 hours, the freezing water expanded enough to break the jar. So it took several hours before anything happened. However, when I left a moist paper towel out into the cold, in only 15 minutes it was frozen solid and behaved like a sheet of metal. To test the effect of the frost to a hollow fiber water filter, I contaminated water with E. coli bacteria, courtesy of local university, filtered some of the water and plated it onto a culture dish. Then I exposed the filter to the cold weather for a couple of hours, let it thaw, filtered a second round of contaminated water, and plated it onto another culture dish. After an overnight culture, the first dish was clean and it looked like this. So obviously my filter did its job very well. However, the second dish did not look that nice. It was full of happily growing E. coli bacteria, and even one unidentified spot of mold. So, only a couple of hours of exposure to the cold caused unrepairable and possibly deadly damage to my water filter. The internet is full of advice, each more stupid than the previous one, how to test whether your water filter is still usable after exposure to freezing. For example, some say that if you are not able to blow air through the filter, it is good to go. That is absolutely not true. If the freezing water has made a few micrometer sized cracks into your water filter, you cannot see or feel anything unusual, but that does not prevent the bacteria happily swimming through the cracks. Even the kind of plating tests I just showed you cannot prove that your filter is okay. The frost may still have made some tiny fractures to the hollow fibers, only waiting to expand in the worst possible moment. Therefore, if you even suspect that your water filter has been exposed to the cold, throw it away and buy a new one. Modern water filters are wonderful things, but in my opinion, the manufacturers should keep their customers well informed about the life-threatening risks involved in exposing the water filters to the freezing. And this information should be at the front pages in flaming letters, not hidden in some back pages of the frequently asked questions. Safe trails, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.